Hey, everybody. Happy Friday to ya. We got through the week, didn't we? All right. Going to be playing some Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, probably more grindy stuff. And then tomorrow I'll do more of the story stuff, kind of like I was doing with Pokemon Shield, you know, back back in the day. But uh, right now we're going to warm up with some Mario Kart 8, keep going through that Grand Prix, see how it, uh, see how it shakes out. So I'm, I'm pretty close. I only got one more in the original cup, the bell cup, and then, yeah, we got these ones. And I don't know when these are coming out, but I'm hoping I can crank through these two first, so we'll see. But yeah, back to the bell cup. Gotta finish it up. Warm up with this for like an hour or something, and then swing into Pokemon Legends Arceus after a break. Thank you for the follow, by the way, It's the Studio. You followed me between streams, so I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you're watching today, because yeah, we're getting into it. All right. Um, yeah, Neo Bowser City is one that I'm going to have to do a little more work on, because it's got a lot of tight turns next to a lot of just, like, sheer drops, so got to make sure that I'm able to get these drifts real tight. Yep. Nice try. Oof. Ah. It's fine. We're still in the first lap. Ooh, drafting. Drafting. I feel like drafting is going to be a lot more important. Ugh. In 200 CC. So I should probably get a little more familiar with it. We still only in the first lap? Wow, okay. Ah, yes, there's the end. Still, yeah, I haven't played a ton of this cup yet, so hoping I can get it all here during the warm up, but if not, whatever. You know, obviously the hope is any time to get it. Ooh. Uh, 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 maybe did that a little early. Then we gotta basically hit this drift right out of the other curve. Yeah, it's mainly just giving myself enough room to drift. Can be can be difficult, especially on a course this small. Looks pretty sweet though. Uh, not much I can do about that if that shell comes. Looks like I'm good. Real dastardly thing would be to drop a banana right after a jump like that. You know? And then. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of really tight curves. Ooh. Ah, dip. It's okay, it's okay. Still behind me there. I got time, I got time. Not a lot, but I got it. This, I can pick up some speed right here. These. And, oh, I see a blue shell coming. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. One down. Next is, I believe, the, like, ribbony one? The, what's it called? Book. Book something. Ribbon Road. Oh, and this is a GBA one, huh? Yeah, I need to, need to play through Super Circuit on here sometime. Because that is my favorite, because, you know, it is the best. 
but yeah, emulating it won't be too hard, I think. So maybe I will do that before I get my new computer, whenever that ends up happening. Get my wisdom teeth out, so that's gonna be a little pricey. Thankfully, I do have insurance, but they're only paying for half, so still got, you know, still gonna be a lot of change, but I gotta get it done. My wisdom teeth are in rough shape. Okay, okay. Still, still the first lap, so you can be ahead all you want there, Luffy. I got time. I got all the time in the world for this. Well, I don't. I have an hour, but you know what I mean. Okay, and zip. I love these uh, wind up. What are they called? I remember they added them to Mario Maker, and I was gonna make them like the core of the Mario Maker levels I was doing. Um, but I just I never finished up doing it. I always want to make levels and stuff, but it's like it's just very tedious. You know, because like even if you, oops, even if you get uh you get all of your ideas down, you still have to take all the time to like plot it all in, and you know you gotta give uh give it all the land. It's a lot of it's a lot of time and effort just to get it set up to where you want to actually start doing your more creative stuff. That's like most creative stuff though, you know? Like, you gotta be able to put in the time and the effort to do the actual work. No! Ah, dip. Oh, Morton. Is that Morton or is that Roy? I can never keep him straight. And this is gonna be pretty tight, but I think I got it. Oh, oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Everybody gets zapped, so. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Here we go. Oh, whoa, Roy was right behind Morton. No, that is Morton. Morton was right behind me. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Okay. Let me uh, stream marker that. That was weird. Come on, let me let me do it. All right. Next race, we might be able to get this in one. Although that's just two, two of the tracks, so could begin a little ahead of myself with that claim. But we'll see. Super Bell Subway. I like this level a lot. Now, oh, oh, dip. I've been doing that a little too often lately. All right, we're drafting. And I ain't talking Magic the Gathering. Whoa! What was that? He hit the, the banana and then immediately, like, uh, dropped a banana? He didn't lose any speed, which is frustrating. Okay, knock it off. Being obnoxious, guys. I got two laps to catch back up, so I'm not too worried. Oh, why did I... Why did I drift that way? Hmm. Oh, come on. God, everything after fifth sucks because everybody is just hog wild. Throwing out every item that they get. Whereas up front, you kind of just got to worry about the shells. And like, lightning. I'm going to save this mushroom. Or, uh... any blue shells or anything. There we go. I'm back up. I'm back up. Ooh, Morton's being pretty sneaky. Oh, nice try. Nice try with that banana. 
Let's keep moving forward. Yeah. Ooh. Keeps dropping those bananas. Thinks he's slick. Oh. Well, he was that time, I guess. Yeah. Come on. Move. 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 Dip. No, no. Ah, I was so close to having a great comeback, but... Oh, looks like everybody got ahead of me here. Oh well, it happens. At least I can get in fourth. I placed, so that's something. Next race. Wait, not next race, I should have quit. Well, actually, yeah, let's practice Big Blue. Since I'm still fairly fresh on this cup. Let's just get a good idea of how this one works. There we go, there we go, watch out, okay. Then you go along the green, Morton, you doofus. Come on, you don't know that. Oh, well, I guess I didn't know that. It's just getting out of the way. He's annoying me. And then we'll just slap a banana right. Tja! Drop that coin. I don't need it. I mean, anything I can unlock would be cool, I guess, but. I don't really need the coins that much. So yeah, it seems like the subway is going to be the, the tricky bit here in this particular match. This particular cup, but I'll do my best. Right, you can dip into the reds for a second, either to cut across or use one of the uh, boosts. I don't want to hang out there. Normally, I'd be a little upset because, uh, yeah, I got knocked down, but obviously, just a practice run on this track. Let's get doubled up on that. Yep. Oh, ah, ah, that hit him after, after he stopped. That's funny. All right. All right, let's try this one again from the top. Ugh. I've been hitting the gym again. I went, I went twice this week already. In fact, three times because I went on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, feeling a little rough, but uh, I'll be all right. Probably take tomorrow to rest. Gonna go see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness tomorrow. Should be super cool. Very excited for that one. Um. And then, yeah, just hang out, basically. All right. Let's go on this. This one is still, I'm not gonna let my guard down because these are still all pretty tough, but yeah, I think, um, I think it's gonna be those last couple that really determine a few things. Just once you know the route a little better is, is my big thing. Like, if I'm going blind into a course, I, I can be all over the place. But if I'm... If I have a little prior knowledge, you know, it means that I can hit my drifts a little nicer. 
at the correct times. Nope. Went a little too, too loose on that. Gotta make sure the turn is very tight in that section. And brown. There we go. Hey, hey! Metal Mario. Oh, no. Oh, man, I'm having the worst time on this one. And yeah, this uh, that's one of the rough turns right there. That's the troublemaker. Oh, perfect. Oh, no! Ah, Metal Mario. Metal oh, Mario is the troublemaker on this one, eh? Okay. I can manage Mario. Get boombox, that would be awesome. Green shell, not what I asked for, but I can do some with it. Oh jeez. Uh, well, not anymore I can't. Yeah, dip. Alright. Ah, drafting off me, eh? Sneaky sneaky. Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, that was the worst moment for that one. Yeah. Well, I got third. Bumped in front of Waluigi at the last second, but... Still gotta start over. Oh, well. Let's give it another shot. All right. I love how there's little rain droplets on the camera. It's a very cute detail. Why am I always starting in the 12th position? Couldn't they have like a little qualifier match? See, see who should be at the top of the pole position. I don't know. I think also that probably has something, something to do with like fairness of so people who actually do better or put lower. That'd be my guess, but I don't know anything about real world racing, frankly. Oh, oh, did you see that? Hold on, hold on. I got a marker that. Barely, barely kept on. <coughs> Incredible. That's the level of high octane racing action you can expect on Iggy Kid Twitch streams. Uh, Alright, alright. Feeling a bit better about this particular uh, iteration. Oh, 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 no! Too, too loose. Come on. So Lakitu can just drop you in a place that's dangerous for you? That's baloney. Yeah. Oh boy. I'll save this red shell. Actually, no, I won't. 
Gotta get as much of a lead as I possibly can. So anybody who's coming up on me knows what's up. And then... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah, that's that's the tricky part right there. We're good. We're good. I don't even care. I don't even care. And we flip. Drop a banana. And we're through. Nice. Nice. Next race. Ribbon Road. It's not quite as tricky. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, railless areas, but they're pretty wide. And, uh, yeah, unlike, there's not the subway cars like in, uh, the subway race, which those tend to be the biggest problem. Just skirting around those. Now, my coins. Baby Mario is the rival this time. Really? Okay. I haven't seen that one. Got some bananas for protection. They did not protect me against the bananas. Which is ironic. Or is it? Maybe that's appropriate. I don't know. I'd expect them to uh, protect from banana. Crap, I had a nice draft and I squandered it because I couldn't uh, make it out. There we go. And around. And around. All right. Uh, 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 tight around. Oh, these are gonna be a little tricky. Oh, with the zinc. Oh, I can't see. God, I hate the ink one. It's just obnoxious. Nope. Ooh, that was close. Him out. Deal with Peach in a minute. to her. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. Yeah, there's plenty of boost opportunities out here, but they can be a little... a little less than helpful sometimes. And... Uh, that coin, why not? Whatever, I don't even care about a squid at this point. There we go. Now we're gonna get on the subway. Just a minute. Super Bell Subway, that's it. That was probably early. Nope. Just right. Yeah, if I can get an early lead, that's way better so that I don't have to deal with everybody in the back end or a bunch of jerks. And we'll go around the tips. Oof. Ah, oh, damn. That's all right. Yeah, the more actual track we can avoid, the better. Because these... These subway cars are going to be a real pain. And... I feel like going over top. Yeah, that gets you an extra little boost, right? So, probably better to do it that way. Oh my god, she was going so fast that she just cut right across. That is a very interesting strategy that I would not have considered, honestly. I think they set it up sometimes for you to be able to do that, but I, d I don't want to mess with it. Ah! God, 
God, I hate this one. These trains, you can't even, like, barely skim them without like, totally wrecking all of your momentum. And I gotta crawl my way back up the ranks. God! It's just obnoxious, man. Everybody's in the way. Ha! Ah! Recovery time is so annoying! I'm tenth. I'm in tenth. Eleventh. And we're in last place. Great. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but I got to finish out the race anyway, so let's see what we can do. You do give all the best items to you when you're in last place, though, so that's cool. Yeah, get got. Get got, bro. I'm just going to... Gonna hammer that. And, uh, I mean, it's much too late to matter. Dip, I hate this subway level, man. Yeah, I only went down two places, but. Yeah. Once again, it sucks because it's the third one. It was the first, or even maybe the second. No problem, but the fact that it's the problem one and it's third means you gotta get the first two perfect already and then go to that one and maybe lose. Frustrating. Frustrating. Alright. Nope. Yeah, I was way too early. Oh well. There we go. Alright, keeping up. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm not as worried about this one now that I have a pretty good handle on all of these more difficult spots. But, uh, yeah, the, that subway, so obnoxious. Ooh, don't, 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 don't. Good God, good God. Had the boom box even and didn't bother using it. SMH. Truly are a baby. Mm -hmm, baby Rosalina. Getting around that turn is pretty technical, but I think I've got a handle on it. Okay, and then boom, yeah, we got hit a little bit, but I got time to get my speed back up. Losing this right on my case. I don't want to get too close behind her because she's got that banana. Yeah, saw that coming. It. And we're already really close to the end. God damn it. Ah! I hate the bananas, man. So annoying. Nope, nope, nope. We're just going to quit through here and uh, start over because I'm not going to be able to make it. So annoying. Grand Prix, let's do it. Give it another shot.
Yeah. Yeah, it's it's only like the afternoon, but I'm already feeling a little. Yeah. I mean, it's Friday. I've had a long week. Got a lot done. Finally storyboarded um, a video. I've been meaning to storyboard for a while, but then I got sick for like months, so didn't have the energy to do it. Finally sat down, got it done. Really only took a couple hours. So now, next step, this next week, is I'm gonna start cracking into all of the, uh, the, uh, the drawn portions of it. So I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be including some drawings, some kind of limited animations. I think will be pretty fun. I think people will like them. But, uh, yeah, we'll find out. You know, I hope y'all are excited for it. Uh, I'm gonna have, you know, a movie review up next week, but I've been going bi-weekly with the YouTube videos, because, you know, going weekly was cool while it lasted, but it felt like I was just so focused on doing that that I was really hampering the actual quality of it, so. We're, uh, yeah, we're gonna go a little less often, hopefully a little more effort put in. You know, I'm gonna do more effort on my movie reviews for sure. Go back to like I did before with uh, more graphics and stuff. Which I think makes for a better video. Um, and yeah, that new one is gonna be a lot of work, but I'm super stoked on doing it. It's not even gonna be very long in the end. It's probably gonna be like 11 minutes, I think? But, yeah. It'll be 11 minutes of some cool, cool stuff. So I hope that that makes it worth everyone's while. I don't want to get too deep into it because it's still a ways off, probably, and I don't want to get anybody too hyped. But, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty hyped myself. And it's, it's some board gaming content, again, because I did that first season of whiteboard games. And then, uh... Oh, no, no, no! Ugh, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Ugh, just barely! Okay. Ooh. A little close. A little close. Um, I'm considering going back and doing more whiteboard games at some point. I have, like, a much better setup that would like really help it. And I already bought all the stuff for season two. I just, uh, when I sat down to start doing it, you know, I was just like, Ugh. Um, and yeah, it's all written, you know, it's just, I have to actually, you know, film it and edit it. Uh, I don't think I was storyboarding this time around. I'm, I was trying to do it in a more loosey-goosey kind of manner, which I think will result in a uh, much more streamlined actual like filmmaking process, but who knows. I was pretty happy with them, but at the same time, it's like, it's still, it's just like some rando teaching you how to play a board game, which is the most brain-dead, like, simple board gaming content. You know, I'd want to make something like Dragon's Tombs, which is making fun of that stuff in a really accurate way, or like Shut Up and Sit Down, who are like, you know, I, I would honestly say some of the only good reviewers. Like, yeah, Dice Tower, they definitely know what they're talking about, but they're incredibly, like, dry. You know, or ProZD, I watch his board game reviews because I'm a fan of his. And he has some good insights, but jeez, his reviews are literally just explain how to play the game, then just lay out your thoughts at the end. And it's like, you could just, like that's literally all Shut Up and Sit Down does is, they do that, but they cut it together, you know? They explain what needs to be explained for the point they're making in the moment, and then, like, then they make their point. They don't, like, make it like into a teaching thing so that it's like oh i can tell you now it's like it's like the equivalent of a review that was just um 
like showing you a paraphrasing of an entire movie and then telling you what they thought. It's like, no, when you see Roger Ebert's reviews or whatever, it's he'll reference, he'll cite the different moments that he's talking about. But for the most part, he would say what he was thinking and make the relevant examples simultaneously. He'd work it all together. That's the kind of thing I'd, I'd like to do, you know? Less necessarily reviews, but like video essays about board games. I've only seen a few of those, you know, uh, no pun intended, or is it no pun included? I don't remember. Uh, did a video about colonization in board games and how it's such a common theme and how like kind of problematic that is. And I think Pop Culture Detective is also um, planning on doing a video on that. I think he said like several years ago he was going to, but I don't think he's going to be able to do better because uh, Efka, who did that video, is from Lithuania, which was a colonized country so he got to talk about his own experiences with colonization in a way that yeah, I don't think pop culture detective will get to like not only is pop culture detective as far as I know not have a wide breadth of um uh like experience with board games but also like with colonization on a first-hand basis like that, so. I'd, I'd say go watch it, you know? Again, kind of dry. Uh, I feel like, you know, doesn't make any major points that kind of been made uh, elsewhere, but I think it's a pretty solid essay about a pretty big problem that the industry has had for a long time and that they're kind of getting away from. But then, you know, we got, like, the one of the big hotnesses now. What was that? I got, like, slammed in the wrong direction. Uh, one of the big hotnesses right now is Lost Ruins of Arnak, which is, you know, a problematic kind of adventure game about exploring an, a land that's, like, uninhabited, and they're doing the, the thing that they always do when they're trying to not be problematic, which is, let's just make it... Um, let's just make it so that there's nobody here that's being colonized. And it's like, that's, you're, so you're a racing culture now. That's not, that's also uncool. Ah, are you kidding me? Come on. God, I hate this subway track. So annoying. God. Come on, come on. I mean, I'm not gonna get it. I'm just, we're just gonna stop. There's not enough room. Dip. But yeah, Lost Ruins of Arnak is like, it's a fun concept, but like, why is that what it is? Dry bones, not dry bones. What? No, stop, 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 stop. Why would I change my character? At this point, game. I don't know how it drifted over like that. I'm not even using a controller that can drift. It's like a wired controller from PDP. PDP. It's pretty nice. It was like $25. Which granted, my Joy-Cons are all like, I've sent them off to get uh, repaired for drift and all that, so. You know, they wouldn't be too bad to work with, but the PDP controller just feels more comfortable because it's large. It's got that chunky feelings to it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how, uh, what was it? There was that, like, huge original Xbox controller that was, like, practically a sphere. It was so thick. Um, which I thought everyone hated, but actually, turns out, like, a lot of people really love it. Like, people with disabilities 
find it much easier to use, or people with just like big hands. So when they re released it for modern Xbox, people were really stoked on it. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, damn. I'm gonna put some bananas in some very awkward places there. Not like that. Get your mind out of gotta. Dip! Couldn't see where the banana was at. Come on, dude! Yeah, nope. We're just gonna restart this one. I know I had, like, still a lap left, but it's I just... No, no, no. No, 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 no. None of that, thanks. All right. Keep on keeping on. Probably going to warm up for another mm, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll get into Arceus after the break. Eh, eh, eh. What was that? What's going on? What? I had a great draft going in. It just stopped me dead. What was that? Dude. All right. All right. And there we go. What is that? It keeps stopping me dead. Out of nowhere. Why does it keep doing that? Much better run this time. Ooh, that felt good. Coming right off the jump with a mushroom. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah, it, 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 it. Whoa. Oh. oh no. Oh, that was the worst place to put that. No. No. Are you kidding me? Ah. I was doing so good. Then it then that happened. Come on now. All right. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on. Ugh. Yeah, it was just way too early, I think. Whatever. I can deal. I can deal with it. This is the game of the race. It's not really that big of a deal. There we go. Already rising way up the ranks. There's Roy. There was Roy indeed. Okay. Nope. Ah, oh, dip. I wasted it. I should have saved that. 
Oh well. I, I think it'll be okay. If I get hit with a blue shell later, I'm gonna feel real foolish. And around. Do, 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 do. on these drifts. Nice. Need some items, please. Bowser's coming up close. See him on there. And... On trucking. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay, I would have felt foolish, but I was lucky enough to get another one right there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna do this with the ink in the way. It's a little difficult. Okay. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. All right, all right, all right. Oh, no! No, no, not here, not here! No! Oh my god, he's right behind me. Ah! Whew. Oh boy, all right. Next one, get the ribbon road. And we're on to the subway. Subway is just, it's such a uphill of a track. I hate, hate it. Bam, we're going. Wasting no time, just get ahead ASAP. Get a juicy lead and keep it. Dip. It's also, I think, because this is the last Grand Prix in the uh, standard, you know, non-DLC situation, this is probably the hardest one, just by design. There we go, hit him there so he has to get Lakitude. Yes, 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 it feels very good. Completely screw over a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, here it comes. Michelle. It's all right, it's all right. Halfway through. Lap two. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Only one behind, so. He's right there, who cares? Who even cares? Oh, I got bananaed. That's fine. Ah, skirted right away at the last second. Oh no, Bowser got. Bowser got the boost. Bowser got the boost. Ah! Now I hit the button. He didn't release it. Yeah, whatever. I think I'll be okay still. So. Uh, maybe not. Yep. Yep. And. Yep. It in line. Go get. Oh no, I forgot it wasn't floating. Ah! Ah, whatever. Whatever. I got third. That's something. Uh, I think I'm gonna try one of the DLC tracks. Or.
uh, cups. I just, yeah, I'm getting a little frustrated with this one. Uh, yeah, 150C. C! And, yeah, we'll, we'll do... Let's do Golden Dash. Sure. Come on now. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the tour cups, right? There's like a s certain vibe to them where they're not like bad or anything, but they're like, some about them feels kind of more bland, right? I don't hate them or anything, I just, uh, they certainly feel like they aren't from a mainline Mario Kart title. Get out of here, dude. I didn't ask. I didn't ask for you. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, okay. It, uh, why did I slow down so hard there? And hit like the break or anything. Hmm. Ba bam. Whoops. A little early, a little early. Shy guy, shy guy on my tail. Weird. Yeah. And I think we're getting close to the. Ah, uh, no! Oh, I turned. I turned at a bad time. All right, all right, just keep it, keep it clean. I'm almost there. Yep, I didn't do a trick. No, 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 no. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I can't see, I can't see. This street. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, pretty sloppy performance, but it's all right. All right, and this. This is also pretty sick. I mean, this feels like one of the early tracks, right? Wouldn't be one of the more exciting ones, but it's still pretty fun. You know, pretty straightforward. It's just kind of loops. There's no big, big wild stuff going on. And this was the move as a kid. So you drop the banana ah, where the blocks are so that people can't see it. Although back in the day, back on the N64, we also had like the fake block. Where it would, it would be a block uh, spinning in a different direction at a different pace that... Um, that would hit you the same way Banana did. Uh, oh, and also the question mark would be upside down. So, 
yeah, it was, uh, that one was the, the intention was that you would drop it along with your, alongside the other blocks so they would trick them. And it, it was the worst feeling when you're like, why does that block look so weird? And then you hit it. Because it's like, combined, the models would just like overlap if they were close enough together. So it's like, why does that look like that? And then that says you hit into it, and you feel a fool. All right. Next race. This is Chaco Mountain, baby. A classic from the N64 days. It doesn't look so much as like chocolate as they meant for it to look um, in the N64, you know? The N64 was all like these deep browns and everything was like blocky and crumbly looking. And like the boulders were like all super polygonal so they looked like hunks of chocolate that someone had just like chiseled out of a giant block or something. I love the little detail of going into a cave and your, your little headlights turn on. It's, it's a cute little detail. Not necessary, but I like it. Ah, ah, I'm protected. Whoa! Gotta watch out for the bananas at this point. So many of them all up on the track that ooh, they become a serious issue. They're giving me bananas and coins, dude. I don't want them. I'm already maxed out on coins. Bananas are not that helpful. I guess they can block against, like, red shells, but far enough away that nobody can hit me with a red shell anyways. Yep. A bam. Nice. Can I, can I get this? I don't want to get too confident, but... I've been able to get the first three tracks, so... Maybe. Maybe. Coconut Mall. Ugh. This is the one with the great music. Here we go. It's a little ex exciting music for a mall. Malls are very relaxing, chill places generally. Maybe even bordering on, like, depressing. I haven't been to the mall in forever. Ah. Someday. I mean, it's probably fine by now, honestly, but, you know. COVID's still out there, man. Had it before, it sucks. I don't know, maybe sometime in the summer or something. I don't know. I'm like fully vaccinated and everything, so I should be fine. I just don't want to be the jerk that like allows someone else to get COVID effectively because of my negligence. It's everyone's responsibility to keep everyone else safe because we're human beings living in a society. Ah, dip. 
me, let me do it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, da 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 da. All right. All right. Yeah. Ah. Ah, come on, dude. That's the worst when you just go out of control cuz you're just zipping around so fast. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there's a whole other thing through the food court. I didn't even realize. Ah! No! No! Oh, it was gonna be so close. Oh, dude! Shy guy slammed me right into the car! That was premeditated, man. Frustrating. Frustrating. All right. Well, that's going to be it for Mario Kart for right now, but I will come back from the break and play some Pokemon Legends Arceus, so don't go anywhere. I'll be our back with that in just a minute. Okay, okay. BRB. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I am back. We're gonna crank into some Arceus. It's just gonna be kind of grindy stuff for the most part. Um, I think I might do the next little bit of story here, if just to open more stuff up. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna work on like requests and stuff because it's Friday, and then Saturdays will be the ones for the more story stuff. So let's get into it. Um, I'll turn it down by like five, I think. This game's much quieter than Mario Kart. All right, so what were my requests? Let's see, playing with Drifloon. Prelude Beach, where is Prelude Beach? Exactly. Over here, right? What time? It's pre uh, right. Play Prelude Beach in the evening. Need to finish up Cricketot. Finish up Cherim. I don't think I've even started that. Oh yeah, I got to go to turn that in. It's gonna be a little sad because they were so excited for it, but hmm, what can you do? All right. Have you come to show me the will of the wisp I saw? It was a chimchar. Pokemon, but I'm certain what I saw was a will of the wisp, you know? Hmm? Should look at this Pokemon at night? Okay, if you say so. Oh, so I gotta wait till night to show her. Yeah. Hold on. Ground type. I might have ground type now. Let's go. Let's go see if it'll accept anything I got. Hey, yo. Nope. Okay. Still none, huh? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. So what else do we have? Uh, oh yeah, I got the greens. So let's turn that in. game is very relaxing. Until it isn't. When it gets exciting. I, oh. Down. Is there... There are stairs down. Huh. Interesting. Oh, ho, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Woods, here is Choi's errand girl, aren't you? Don't waste your breath. I've got nothing to sell to him in his store anyway. Now go on, scurry. Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to... Uh, tearing my hair out to try to get hearty grains. Sheesh. Wait, you've got hearty grains? Would you let me have some, please? Just three stocks. Sure. You ended over three stocks of hearty grains. Ah, hardy grains, the Crimson Mire Land's finest feature. The sway of those golden brown stalks across the landscape, it fills me with yearning for home. I'd wager if you combined hardy grains with other ingredients, it'd bring out tasty aromas that would make Pokemon gather round. All right, I won't send you back a failure, since you so kindly brought me these hardy grains. Tell Troy I'll set him up with some new wares. Cool. We did it. Time to go back. Yeah, rolling. I feel like camera feels like it's backwards now. I don't know. I guess it's been like a couple weeks since I played this, but some about how this moves feels wrong. We've got new goods in stock. Thank you. So you had to deal with all this. Tao Hua and I have had some complications before. 
But thanks to you, we've got excellent new items to offer. Do buy some. I did it. I got it to grains. Okay. What else do we got? Uh, haven't gotten that yet. Nope. Can't do that yet. Working on it. Don't have that. Um, hmm. I will show them Rowlet, I guess. This might be one that you're supposed to, like, do across a uh, while, you know? Like the Will the Wisps. How about it? Ready to show me how friendly you are with those Pokemon of yours? Yeah, Rowlet. Hmm? Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You've a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Yeah, sure. The rare candy was sent to my storage. Well, that's another, uh, that's another request fulfilled. It's getting later, but it's not late enough yet. Pokemon with three leaves in the Crimson Mire Lands. Is that... Who is that? Who has three leaves? Oddish, I guess? Yeah. Meh. We'll see. Ah. Go help set up the camp. Sure. Gotta wait till uh, evening at least anyways. All right, over here. And here we go. All right. Hmm. Ursaluna now, Ursaluna now knows Erezu's scent. Follow the blue signals to find her. Right, I can do. Brr. Oh, what do you want? Hey there, you're that go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I've uh, got a request for you if you've got some time. I'd love to know more about a Pokemon called Rosalia. It has these gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Rosalia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you could complete Rosalia's page in that Pokédex of yours and show it to me? Yeah, sure. I'll keep an eye out. Who's that? Who's that little guy? Is that a Badoo? Looks like a Badoo. And got him. Yeah, it is a Badoo. Nice. I'll just catch another one, why not? Yeah, this can't be what they're looking for. It's only got like two kind of leaves. More like tendrils. Give me that fern. Give me that fern. Cool, get some apricorn. If and you don't mind. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't have enough space. Crap, I should have emptied my packs. 
get him. Nice. Some more grains. Find all kinds of stuff. Oops. Oh, well, never mind. Go about your day, sir. Is that no, that's iron. That's an iron chunk. Oh well. Get out of here, dude. No one even asked you. Sword cap. And we can swing around this way, I think. Get to that part sticking out, maybe? I could be wrong on that. Oh. Yeah. Line it up. Get him. Yeah. Nice. That is pretty good. Pretty good. Can I climb up this? Not yet, I don't think. I think if you kind of... No. Wait. Maybe from over here. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Oh. Oh, I did it. Nice. Bethesda. Add a stream marker there. And we're over. Let's just get some berries. Ah, do. Don't have room for it. See some ruins over there? Could be some good stuff in the ruins. Oh yeah, I'm also on the lookout for all the unknown. Whoa. And there. Please, please. Thank you. Eighteen left. Hmm. Ooh, what is that? Oh, careful. Uh, da 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 da. Hmm. Yeah, some sparkling over here. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about it. Nice. Back off, dude. I didn't even ask. Who here even knows you, bro? Hold on, what is... What do I actually need for Cricket Tot? Giving it food. Okay. Mm, oh, Will of the West. Touch. Good. Good, good, good. Where next? Where next? Oh. Oh. Ghosts. Yeah, I do gotta get out there to do the camp, so. Let's move somewhat swiftly. In fact, let's hop on this fella. See how far he can get us. Uh, oh, there's a bridge. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. God damn, I hate how he moves. He like just kind of leaps in different like directions and it's so quick that it's uh, very difficult to control. 
Like, out in this empty area, it's fine. But then, as soon as you need to, like, be at all precise with your movements, you're done did. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, they're smelly. What's the, what's the haps, Cap? Oh, ho there. I'd keep your distance if I were you. Just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up our base camp. One stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this. Someone good at battling. I'm not bad. Are you sure you're up to this, though? Would they stink something fierce? Leave it to me. Well, if you insist, we've got to beat three of them, so be ready to run and stay downwind. <laughs> uh, get it, Rowlet. I think Rowlet will be okay. You're like normal type, right? Now it's poison type. Ooh, that's not great for me. Oh, jeez, right off the bat, they get to go? That's unfair. Well, let's toss out a Shellos. No, thanks. What? Do I not get to attack? What is this? Just got skipped over entirely. What is this? Mm. There we go. It's nonsense. They get to go. So because I had to change out, they all three get another turn. That's too much, dude. So unfair. All right, flame wheel him. All right, just do it. Man, the way they made this look in the trailers was that you'd be like, oh, running around all the time, looking all over the place, whoa. And like, I don't know, maybe they should have made it so that they can attack your Pokemon or they can attack you, so you gotta keep on your toes, do some dodge rolls and stuff, but as it is, it's just a way to get better angles, so. Okay. You aren't kidding, you've got talent, and your Pokemon were so brave, too. I can't believe you handled three Stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks to you, we can get the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. There we go. What do you think? Makes things feel a little safer out here, no? And there's not a whiff of Stunky here either. Stop by any time. A new base camp. Oh. Hey. This makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Mirelands. Perhaps some Stunky will pop by for fun and games sometime, eh? Wouldn't that be a treat? Where did you... <sighs> I'm not going to question it. Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Oh, ho, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Mm hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokédex with this new data. Cool. Uh, yeah. You've carried out some fine work, and I believe you're ready to move up to the next rank. So what would you like to do now? Return to the village. Gotta drop some stuff up. I gotta get my new rank, because I totally forgot about getting a new rank. Um, but first, let's go drop some stuff off. 
First off, we gotta check the whole Drifloon thing. Be out here, I think, right? Now, it's getting too bright out. I should actually go do uh, the nighttime one before it's too late. Hello. Yep, Will of the Wisp. It's a Chimchar. Whoa. Yeah. Th that's it. That's the Will of the Wisp I saw, right? So it was a Pokemon all along. In any case, you cut it just like you promised. The Survey Corps really are a talented bunch. I just have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. Yeah! A w -w will of the Wisp! No! Save me, sis! Ah! The mysterious Will of the Wisp. Alright. Well, let's see if we can check out the uh, Drift Loom. It might be too late, but, you know. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Can I run fa- I can run faster. Cool. Oh, hey, and there's a Will of the Wisp out here. Get it. Get it. There are five wisps in this area, really. I think I'm going to be able to swim later, so that makes sense. Um. Pretty sure that's just here, right? I don't know. I think I'm a little too late. It did say evening and not night. So let's uh, swing back to the Survey Corps and turn our stuff in. Way out here. Oh boy. It's a long, long walk. And... We're nearly there. Come on, come on, come on. So much space with like so little to actually do. Hello? Where should could she be? There you are, you're the one, right? The one they've all been talking about. The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mire Lands. My younger sister Wanda is in the Sir Security Corps, as you see, and she went to the Meyerlands too, but she never made it back. We managed to track down that Rezu woman on the, in those boggy Meyerlands, right? So could you find my sister Wanda too? What's she smell like? What? Uh oh, you mean you can search her by her scent? Well, maybe the kerchief she usually carries could be of some use. First Luna picked up Wanda's scent. I'm counting on you. Please find Wanda wherever in the Mireland she's ended up. Gone astray in the Mirelands. Okay. I'll do that in a minute. You have progress to report. I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Yep. His Pokedex. Yeah. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Ba bam. Rank three. Nice. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon up to level 40 will also obey your orders reliably. 
I have this as well. It is a further recipe you'll need for crafting. We obtained a recipe for crafting grape balls. Iron chunk, tumblestone, and apricorn. Oh, hey! Thanks for coming in, Jason Payne James. Uh, continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to I re rise higher in the ranks. Oh, I've been so mush mouth lately. Um, yeah, I am doing some, not quite grinding, but some of the more menial tasks in Arceus. How you doing, Jason? What have you been up to? Uh, where are we going next? Is there a place for me to like wait for, or no, you know what, I need to empty out my inventory a bit. I'm a bit full. Or, oh, that's a, that's a lurk emoji. Well, I appreciate the lurk. Apologies, I did not notice the second emoji. Um, I'm gonna drop this ball of mud. I don't need this. I need these. Yeah, most of this stuff we don't need. Yeah, yeah, none of that, none of that. Get rid of this dust. Oh, I want the iron chunk though. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ah, get rid of that. Although I will move back some food because I need to get some foods to the uh, cricket tots. Nah, Barry. So I think we'll go and swing by and do that. If it will let me. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. What can you do for me? Uh. Let's see, uh, we'll go to the field lands camp, or we should go into the heights camp, whatever. I'm gonna throw some food at some cricket touch. Should be, should be too hard. There's quite a few of them around here. Trifloon. It's raining, which not change too much of what I got going on. Okay. Now, do we need to sneak up on them to give them the snack? I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Are they... Are they sunshine-only Pokemon? Sure hope not. This is going to be a bit annoying for me. All right, got that at least. Actually, I think I can craft. Whoops. I think I can craft some grape balls with everything I got. Maybe there was like something specific I needed. Iron chunk. I don't have any apricorns, really? Really? Huh. Usually hang on to quite a few of those, so that's a little odd. Whatever. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's a cricket top. What am I doing? No. Look come back. I want to give you food. Eat it. Eat it. Now, eat it. Does that not count as food? Hmm. I mean, it should, right? Seems like that'd be food. Maybe I need to specifically give it cake. Got like cake base. Oops. No, nope, not that either. Um, yeah, I'll make some mushroom cakes.
And we will find some cricket tots to throw them to. Wherever they may be. Uh, let's actually toss Rowlet right over there. Oh, there's a cricket tot. Alright, alright, we're gonna sneak up on him. Do you want it? Do you want the food? Good. Sweet. And, uh, let's just, since we're here. No. No. There's another one. Yep. Oh, well. Swing back this way, see if they've respawned. Why was I crouching? Why was I crouching? What? What more can I do? I think I'll need to make some more cake bases or like buy them or something. Because I need to feed, like, 15 of these guys. No thanks. Eat. Eat the cake. No, eat the cake! No, let me pick it back up then! Ah! Diep. Well, okay, let's... Come on. I still, I really do not like this interface, man. Like, I've certainly dealt with worse, but like, the fact that this is the plus button, when in almost any other game that would lead to a menu. Like, I'm not saying you can't do that, but you gotta understand that most of the people who are gonna be playing this are people who already play games. So you can't just set them up for confusion like that. Especially when, you know, the most obvious connection people make is to Breath of the Wild. And Breath of the Wild has an incredible, elegant interface where you just hit a specific direction for the specific thing you want to switch around. And then you can, like, scroll through. Like, that's great. That's an awesome system. I wish this had something like that. And it's kind of... You know, we got the, the items in the corner. And you can, like, swap between items and Pokemon. It's okay. Still, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as fluid, you know? Okay, um, I need to buy some cake bases. Yes. Yeah, let's buy a bunch of these. Let's just buy 50 of them. Let's go crazy. Go stupid. And then we'll uh, craft whatever we can. I have no more mushrooms. So we are going to go see if I have any mushrooms in my inventory. And otherwise, we're going to have to go out seeking some mushrooms. Uh, da, da. Okay, we got a couple. And we got some honey. Which will help. And, yeah, let's do that. Then we're gonna craft... A few of these. Um, oh, do I not have the recipe for honey cakes? Tip, I shouldn't have used so much money on just cake bases then. Because I, I can't even make any other cakes with them. Okay. Alright, well, I'll just buy up a bunch of honey cake. I can afford it. Sure. 
It seems like a lot, but honestly, I've barely needed any items or money for most of this show. Should be fine. So now we just gotta hang out and feed some cricket tots. Swing by the Heights Camp. Should be easy peasy. Yeah, I should have just bought a bunch of honey cakes to begin with. Oh well. In hindsight, it's pretty good. Um. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll finish this out and then, uh, I have to figure out where the cherums are. There's somewhere around here. Who knows? I don't think I've even run into them. Maybe briefly. I, I'm not sure. Take the coins. <laughs> Eat the cake. Eat the cake, you ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just so annoying when they decide to eat and not, you know? Uh, got the cherry berry, that's pretty sweet. And, yeah, let's just keep tossing some food at some crickets. Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna eat it? It's gonna run away? Come on, man. So touchy. Eat it. Eat it! Okay. I'm not gonna catch him. Because... Hopefully that means that when I come back that they'll want to eat again, but we'll see. You know, wh something I find almost kind of frustrating about this game as well is they really hype up the Pokemon as being super crazy dangerous. Um, I I'm guessing so that when you, f you finally, like... When you can catch some, it's like, oh, it's great, you're so cool. It's like, I don't want them to tell me I'm cool, I want to feel cool because I actually learned how to catch something really difficult, you know? I expected something more like that, like it'd build up, you know, and it'd actually be really difficult to catch Pokemon for a while, and then eventually you can start catching them, and it's it feels awesome because you weren't able to before. But instead, it's actually super easy. And so it's just like, yeah, you're just the golden chosen child. And you're just amazing at catching Pokemon. And it's like, uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel like I earned it or anything. So just a prodigy or something. It's boring. No, oh, eat the food. Eat the food. Yeah, he's eating it. Eat the food. Eat the food. Okay. What about that one? You still hungry? Yeah. Keep eating. Oh, but that doesn't count toward the, towards the Pokedex? That sucks. It's, I mean, it's still a time that I've given it food. Why doesn't... Whatever. It's 
such a relaxing game. Just the gentle sounds of nature with an occasional boo doo doo doot. You gonna eat that? I sure hope you will. Yeah. Oh, you, you want some? You want it? Yeah. What? Where are you going? Eat your food. Eat your food. Just like my cats. Our older cat will like take five bites of her food and then just like walk away and lay down in her bed. It's like, no, go eat. I'm not gonna leave your food out all dang day just so that you can leisurely swing around to eat when it's convenient for you. Eat your food! What? And river, river. Hmm. Oh, 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 there's one. Definitely haven't fed him. Yes, good. Eat. Eat, my boy. Wait, is the reason it hasn't gone up because I already did it? Let me check this. I... Okay, yeah, I finished it. That's why it's not going up anymore. Man, I didn't need to get nearly as many as I got. Okay, whatever. Let's go report it. Report the uh, feeding and then show the Pokedex to whoever asked for it. I think they're actually over by the uh, Fieldlands camp. I'll report it and then see. finished. I wish there was like a little emblem or something like, I don't know, gold star or whatever to show like, hey, you did it. You finished this Pokedex entry. Uh, continue. Then we're gonna swing back by the Fieldlands camp. With the fast travel. I'm gonna spill water on myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then yeah, let's see. Pretty sure it's someone right here. Frickatot. Yes. There, you. You've completed Cricketot's Pokedex page? Great, quick, now let me have a look. Oh, so Cricketot produced that curious sound of theirs by hitting their antennae together. Hmm, I wonder if Anvin from the Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar shape to those antenna. Well, for now, thanks for going out of your way to solve this total enigma. Here, take these. Complete a Pokemon's page. Yep, I, yep. I know. I've been done do it. Uh, can I get up here, maybe? Can't get a little angle on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not super easy to Bethesda your way up stuff in this, but it's still possible in a lot of places. Although, looks like you don't always even need to. Well, color me a fool. Alright, what other requests do we have? Hmm, find Wanda, Rosalia, Three Leaves, Ground-type Pokemon. Can I get the Wisps, Cherim. Oh yeah, playing with Drifloon. Uh, let's do the Drifloon one. 
could use a rest. Until evening. And then we'll head back home. Gotta get to Prelude Beach. Gotta find out what's up with that drift loon. Come on, come on. Sweet. Yeah, I gotta get there before it becomes night. I think I'll have no problem. Hmm? Thought I had that mapped to a sprint, but I guess not. Eh, whatever. Fine, I guess you're tired. Can't do it. Hmm. What? Where? He said it was happening here. Over here? Over, ah, back there. Sneaky, sneaky. Gotcha. Survey here, lady, over here. Hey, um, I want to go home now, but Drifloon won't let me go. Can you help me, please? Sure. Burp. Yay, now I can finally go home. But hey, um, Drifloon didn't mean to be bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret from everyone. Oh, my name's Taki. See you around, Survey Corps lady. But like, I'm pretty sure they said that no kids were missing. So who was that? And like, yeah, he's been there for effectively days since I wasn't able to, uh, do the mission yet, so mm, that one doesn't really try unless I get back there and they're like, that kid's been dead for 30 years. Hello. I see you've been looking into that worrisome drift loon for us. What have you found out? I see, so little Taki was trying to keep drift loon from getting in trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without your help, goodness knows where Drifloon would have taken by now. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow, you up on, follow up on this troubling incident. I'll urge Captain Zizu to p post extra security court guards out on Prelude Beach at once. For now, I'm thankful that the situation was resolved without any harm. Thank you, truly, for helping us keep everyone safe. Alright, so we got that. Eh... <sighs> Man, I'll be frank, I've had a long week. I'm kinda hungry. My voice is kinda tired. I know I've been really trying to do longer streams, but like, man, I don't I don't think I got the energy in me to go too much longer. So I'll do a, a much longer one tomorrow for sure. For sure. Um it's gonna be later in the evening. It'll be more Arceus and we'll get into more story stuff, so it'll be more fun. So, this is just a grindy one, real quick stream, but yeah, I'm just, I'm hungry, I'm tired. It's, yeah, I probably should have started, honestly, earlier in the day, but what can you do? All right, I want to thank y'all for tuning in, and, uh, yeah, let's go to, whoops, that's not right. That's the one I want, hi. Yeah, uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Be sure to follow and subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. Use your Twitch Prime subs. Uh, check out all my socials down below. Twitter, YouTube, the YouTube archive for all of my past streams. Um, my Discord. I have a Discord, so you can come hang out there. Um, and yeah, I hope to see y'all tomorrow for the next Arceus stream, which will be a lot longer, I promise. And yeah, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, let's see who there is to read over to. We got, who is streaming right now? Um, oh yeah, Jason Payne James. 
Well, I mean, he came into Lurk, so why not? Let's, yeah, let's swing over there. Yeah, da, 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 da. Appreciate that Lurk. So yeah. Let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of y'all's Friday. See y'all tomorrow for more. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.